Hey guys, welcome back. I'm coming on today to do a layout for the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. This is a January 2022 layout using the page kit called Just Us. So let me show you a little bit about what's in here. I've done, you know, a whole unboxing and all that, but this is usually what I do. So this is a P13 paper from We Are Family and it is number seven. So it's all these things that you can go ahead and detail cut out. And the back side is like a repeating pattern. Looks like wallpaper from circa 1978. This I think is awesome. It's P13 as well. Around the table, number two, and it is all kinds of labels. I love this. This is so awesome and it's gonna work with what I'm gonna do. The back side is a perfect pink and white gingham. Now we have this piece, it's from Simple Stories Color Vibe Cardstock Birch slash White Grid. So I assume this is a birch wood that's been scuffied up a little bit. And then we have a white grid with gray. A fab color of kind of a mint green. I have two smooth pieces of white, oops. And a really nice textured yellow. So those are my papers. Now, embellishments that went with this kit, I have this acrylic that reads Just Us in my very favorite color in the whole world, this color of aqua. I've got this set of stickers by P13 We Are Family and they're nice circly bits. And I mean, there's a cute little doggy on there, a sweet little cat, a house, family, we are better together, all that kind of stuff. I have this... Uh, these are Nouveau Vintage Drops in Earl Grey. They're a matte and they are super awesome. I use them on another project. This set of Alphas and these are from P13 Happy Birthday and they're yellow with little white dots and they are super awesome. Love those. And I've got some great trim in the same Earl Grey color, which it's so pretty guys. Look at how pretty it is. So some really nice trim. Now from the a la carte section that went with this, I have got this cut file with these books and a cuppa. I'm going to use that on my layout for sure. I've got this word that reads family and I think it is freakishly awesome, but I'm not using it and I love it. It'll get used on another layout. We've got this set of, help me with this guys, succulents in a basket. Those are super cute. Not sure if I'm using them or not. We'll see how that goes. And then there is a set. See my little a la? So I know it's a la carte. A really gorgeous set eh, of sequins that matches beautifully and that will be used on my layout. Okay, so this is what I have. So what I thought I would do, and this cut file right here kind of determined the party, quite frankly, is I read my books on the um this app let me grab it really quickly i need my app while i'm talking to you on the kindle app and it it gives you like book information like where you've gone for the year you get to set goals all that kind of stuff so i just said i'd read 50 books for 2021 and I did. I, I was able to read 52 out of the 50 titles and I'm actually filming this at the very end of December, but I'm rereading a book I read the previous year. So I thought it didn't count. Anywho. So I went ahead and printed that I did 52 out of 50. I read for 179 weeks and 94 days in a row is my track record for, you know, how well I did with that. I don't know if there's any other info. Oh, there is. So, so apparently I'm filming this on December 27th, just read more three more days to get November's total. So they do all of these cute little stat things. I think it's pretty awesome. So my records to beat 230 days in a row, yada, yada, yada. And you know, I just have these records from the last three years when I've been using the app. Anywho, so I know I'm going to fill in this cut file and I'm going to use these sequins for the cup part because... One does like to celebrate me drinking my coffee while I read, so that's awesome. And these pieces right here that are the books, I'll fill them in with um, with some of my pattern papers that I have. Let's see. I was going to measure to see if these are one inch because I can make my own flare with them if they are. 
and I thought that would be really, really fun. So let me, let me just see. I know, super exciting stuff. Let's see. Oop, they are. So I'm going to make a little bit of flare, I think. Shh. Excuse me, Mason, I am filming. No, no. Okay, so I'm going to make my own flare using these, I think, so I'll have some nice shine. I'm not using just us with this either. Okay, then what I thought I would do is first, I mean, it's going to take me a minute, and that's great. I'll put on a show. I'm going to cut out any of the pieces from this gorgeous We Are Family piece that works for me reading. Like, I love these houses. I mean, they these little hand-drawn houses, those are awesome. I like the idea of the couch because I'd be chilling on the couch. Maybe a couple kitties doing a, a little drive-by. The scruffy dog is adorable. So there's pieces that totally are me reading at home. I think those would be awesome for this. Then I'm gonna use this piece right here because it's wood grain and I always have to use wood grain. It makes me so, I don't always use wood grain. If wood grain is present, chances are I'm gonna hang out with it. Now what I'm wondering is, I love this color green that we have in this nice textured cardstock. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and mat my photo in the green, but I bet, see, it picks up this color right here. Or if I did it in the yellow, it would pop. Ah, oh, I did. Okay, I guess I'm doing it in the yellow. It just pops just that much more. Okay, great. And then I'll got the yellow, don't worry. So I'm gonna cut all of these out. But what I thought would be super cool is I think I will have half of this for matting, I think. Or do I want the whole thing? I just love these labels. And I'm going to cut out a bunch of labels. And I'm going to have my labels stacked up. And what I'm going to do is just make notes of some of the books I read in 2021 on the labels. I thought that would be cool and fun. And it doesn't have to be perfectly legible or anything like that. But the cool thing is on the Aparu, it has all of the books I read. And so many of them are trash, guys. It's great. Some are really deep and wonderful, and most are trash. Oh, and I get my books free. I don't tend to pay for books. I think the only books I have paid for in the last great number of years is the Outlander series. It's, it's like for real. Anywho, so I'm going to write a bunch of my book titles on these. I'm going to back my cut file. No idea really what my plan is, except for I know that that's going to be sequins, and these are going to be leftover pattern paper, squiz. And, uh, and since I know I'm going to trim this, I might even be able to get a couple of the books in the wood grain. And I think that would be fun. Okay. Doesn't matter. I have a lot of work to do. Need to trim this to size. I need to gut my yellow pattern or my yellow cardstock and back my cut file. I'll be back in a gif. Hey guys. So nothing is attached down. I don't have a title going on. I might just have a title with these cute little stickers. I'm not sure yet. So I've backed my cut file. I've got a nice little shaker pocket going on in my coffee cup and then just different pattern papers and cardstock that's in the kit. So this will go about here. Uh, I have some scuffed up edges on my wood grain background. I have one, two, three, four. I have four mats on my, the same exact four mats on my two photos and I'll have them there-ish. I cut a bunch of my uh, labels from the ever so cool label pattern paper. I, th I think this is awesome. I get to keep using that. I cut a bunch of them so far. We'll see how it goes. Then the next thing I did is I did cut out some, oops, of these cute little die cuts. I've got this cute little dog. I have some kitties and a couple little houses, a birdhouse. So just different things that look like story elements to me, if that makes sense. And I also remember have these great sequins. I have my Nuvo and I don't know if I'm going to find a place for the trim on this layout or not. No idea. Now I still have these stickers to think about and where are the stickers I want to make? Um, I still, where's my stickers? Guys, oh and these cute little ones and I want to make a few flare out of them. So which ones get to be flare? Ooh, I like the little doggy. Because I have the little doggy over here. So let's go ahead and make a doggy flare. Super awesome. Trying to push out the air as I go. So I, oh, it's a little tiny bit bigger than one inch. It'll be fine. So I have a doggy flare. 
What's the next flare? Love it, love it, love it would be cute, but the pink is a little off, we'll see. Um, what else? Oh, look it, it's the same exact bird. That might be good. I like, oh, I have the cat. I should do the same kitty because I did the same dog. So we're, we'll repeat that. And let me get it right on there. So I've got a flare with a kitty, a flare with a doggy. And do I do the bird? Like, yeah, just repeat what I have going on, right? So I have that. So what I need to do next is A, come up with a title, which I think will be 52 titles read. That would be fine. Let me do the little bird. I can do 52 titles read, and I'll put that on one of the books. And then I need to write in the titles of some of the books that I read. So see how they turn into the perfect little flower? Super cute. All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this, but I did want to give you guys an update where I was going. So I'm going to use adhesive on both of these. Then I just want to start tucking in my little elements. So I'll be back in a minute. So I've attached everything down except for my cute little bits and pieces that you see um, on my labels. I mean, this, this is just freaking cute. I think it's like the expression on like the dog and cat's faces or something like that. They make me very happy. They just do. So I have my little house and this little kitty that's rubbing up against the house. We're gonna say it's like the little cat's house because I know that the scale's slightly off. So I, but I do like this hand-drawn kind of a house dealio that's going on. I think it's really cute. Ah, oh, come on ATG. Now my ATG is being rebellious. So I was going to put each of these five little houses, critters, etc up on a little bit of guys where did i have this did i have oh i had it right here up on a little bit of craft foam just have them stick up a little bit i thought it'd be cuter next i'm going to write just a few of the titles on not a big deal and get my title or my um yeah my title written on not written on stuck down on the books then i still have my flare to put in so i'll come back when we put the flare in and we get some of the sequins on and we'll chat about it. So I thought I'd try to figure out where we can tuck these cute little flare and see they're nice and shiny and all of that. Oh, I'm falling forward. <laughs> so I do like how all of this came out. I want to leave this as like white space or, you know, whatever you call it. So I'm just going to tuck in some of my cute little shiny made up flare pieces all right look at that kitten and look at this one they're just ugh, i wish do i have enough room to tuck it in right here you know what if i move my house over i can i'm gonna do that and tuck this little kitty right there and i'm just gonna move this over a little bit so then since i'm gonna have it all the way up on my photo i can go like this there we go. Cute. Okay. And then I have the little pup and there's stickers on the back. So I'm just kind of going, I have there, there, I think right here. Look, and he's looking down. Oh, that's cute. And he's looking down. So I have a nice little visual triangle with my little flare. I think I'd like to move this one up just a little bit because it's too diagonal on that. And then I can have that body looking up at that body. Okay. So I have flair too. So the last thing I have to do is I'm going to write in some titles. Doesn't really matter which titles, although I did love my last two books I read. Great. I'm going to get some sequins sprinkled in and then I'll come back and show you the finished layout. All right, my friends, this wraps it up. I did pop in five titles of some of my favorite books this year. They were really good. Most of them were like the prime first reads, like if you belong to Amazon Prime. So that's what most of those books were. Pretty awesome stuff. I have two sequins and some of the Nouveau, what is it? The Vintage Drops in Earl Grey. So the three, three here as well. And then three here as well. And there is my title, 52 Titles Red. The little kitty looming over looking 
rather proud and uh, self-satisfied. So that's what I have. I have my little shaker, got a cut file. I was able to use some of those great die cuts that I cut out, made some flair out of my stickers, and that's it. So if y'all have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will have links to the Not Just For Boys Kit Club website, Facebook group, as well as blog. So I'm going to go ahead and get some pictures taken, still shots of this, and I'm going to keep scrapping with my fun kits. Bye for now.